Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do a little update, do a little TBR and a little readathon TBR, maybe. Who knows if I'm actually doing that or not. But I figured it was an excuse to film a TBR video in order to ruin all of my reading plans for the following month. Just a few things that I wanted to touch on base with before I get into the books that I plan on reading this month. Um, yes, I am filming a library tour coming up very soon, probably sometime in April. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see all of this in its glory. But on a similar note, I do actually post um, a lot of pictures of my bookshelves over on my bookstagram, a little bookie Instagram that I have going down there. And I did want to let you guys know that I am starting to do a lot of unboxings on that platform, just in the little Instagram stories things. Whenever I get book mail, even if it's literally just like one book in an envelope, I'm starting to unbox it on there. So I'm still definitely going to have unboxings on this channel. But if you would like kind of a sneak peek or like my initial reaction of me like opening the envelope and fangirling over a book, it's gonna be over there, so go follow me over there because I'm pretty active on there now. I'm trying to split it between Instagram and YouTube, so there's gonna be more content over there if you would like to see that. And the only other thing that I just have to talk about because I just feel the need to share and ask your guys' opinion of what you would like me to do in this situation. So, I know that I am definitely not the only one, but possibly the only one on BookTube who is willing to admit this, but I can't stop ordering all of the limited edition boxes for the release of Akafast that's coming out in May. I'm pretty sure my count is up to six now. I know. I have a problem. Calm down, Chelsea. Chill. Pump the brakes a little bit. You don't need that much Akamath merch, but I do. So in case you guys missed it, um, basically my worst nightmare has come to fruition. They are, I think, officially turning Akatar into a movie and it's by the same people who did the City of Bones movie, which we don't even talk about that movie. So I am terrified and I am choosing to act like it doesn't exist. Like I'm just kind of living in blissful ignorance and believing that it's never gonna happen and I won't ever have to see my precious babies on the big screen being somewhat tainted by whatever actors' faces they're gonna pick. Oh, it's the end of the world for me. It's awful. But because of that, I'm kind of panic buying a lot of like Akatar type merch stuff just because as soon as the movie happens, it's all gonna be like the actors' faces and the movie stuff as far as merch goes. And I don't want that. I want all of the amazing pre movie fan art, amazing artists merch. So I'm kind of stockpiling it and I have a lot. So going back to what I was saying, I'm pretty sure as of right now, I have already ordered six boxes of just like limited edition while supplies last. So I had to instantly buy it. Um, Akafas boxes. I don't think any of them actually have the book in it. So it's just going to be all merch. So question, do you guys want me to unbox all of those on my channel? I'm probably going to do it on my Instagram for sure, just because those are like easy little stories I can film. Do you want like full unboxings for all of those? Because it's going to be the entire month of May. It's going to be Akafas stuff. So I'm leaving that up to you guys. I can just kind of live in my own little dream by myself over here and just unbox everything on my own or I can share it with you guys. Do you want all of it done or just like maybe one or two boxes? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, moving into the books that I plan on reading in the month of April. I have some review books that I need to get to this month. I have some books that I want to get through this month. Obviously going to be reading these. Like the, this is kind of an understatement of the year for me, but I'm gonna go through and reread both of these. I don't really reread Akatar, to be completely honest with you guys. I personally think the story pretty much starts at Hello, Favorite Darling in this. I mean, I still read the beginning of this story, but that's pretty much where it takes off for me. So I just binge through these two books over and over and over again. So this is obviously gonna happen at the end of April. So these are on the TBR. Okay, and getting into the actual books that I like plan on legitimately reading, not just like binging through in a weekend. Um, I have a pretty hefty pile that I would like to get through because obviously we all know that I buy a lot of books, but that also means that I do read a lot of books. Like I just read six books this past weekend. So I'm flying through them pretty fast and I'll be doing some reviews coming up soon. So let's get into the books that I definitely plan on reading this month. Then the attempted TBR for the readathon. 
that I may or may not try. We'll see. So the first book that I am definitely getting to is Relative Strangers by Paula Gardner. Um, this was sent to me for a review. I will be part of a blog tour that is going around, so this will be actually going up um, next week, I believe is when my tour date is, but Paula Gardner wrote Phantom Limbs. I will insert a picture right here in case you guys would like to take a look at the cover. I loved Phantom Limbs. It was so good. It's a YA contemporary, but it was really hard hitting. Like it definitely had a much deeper and darker message to it. And it sounds like this one is even more so. So this is following an 18 year old called Jules who always wanted a really close family, but never really had it. Her father has always been out of the picture and her mother is an ex addict who just kind of like, goes about her own whims and doesn't really mother her too well. So while she is searching for a baby photo for her senior yearbook, she stumbled across the fact that she was in foster care when she was an infant and there was a really loving family who wanted to adopt her but ended up not being able to because I think her mother came back into the picture. So she kind of has this second family and siblings that she never really knew who love her dearly. So I have a feeling this is gonna kind of give me some Far From The Tree vibes, which broke me apart. Like, I don't know what it is about like adoptive and foster care type stories, but they're just like so hard hitting for me emotionally. So I am so excited to get to this. Also in preparation of Akafas, I'm reading everything that is like somewhat related to the Akamath world, Akatar world. I just say Akamath because that's, that's my favorite book. So I say that one all the time. But I am going to be reading The Rise of Titanium by Zachary James. This was sent to me by the author. Hey Zach, you're awesome. I mean, he pitched it to me this way, so I don't want to offend you in any way, but it very much sounds like a fan fiction of Akatar. Like it starts with a girl who goes into the forest where there ends up being ruling fey kingdoms and the story goes from there. Um, so it sounds right up my alley. I'm not gonna lie, I'm real excited. So I think I'm gonna read this closer to the end of the month when I can just get into like fey mindset and it's gonna be great. And in that same note, I am also going to read The Emperor of Evening Stars by Lauren Thalassa. This is like the novella for the Rhapsodic series or no, the Bargainer series is what it's actually called. Um, but the first book is Rhapsodic. I am currently reading A Strange Hymn, which is the second book. So I plan on picking up The Emperor of Evening Stars, which I believe follows Dez's perspective. So that's just a novella. It'll be very quick and I can get through it very fast. Okay, and then moving into books that are gonna take place in this whole readathon thing that I'm like half-assing my way through. So in case you guys haven't noticed, a lot of people are participating in this, but the channel Book Roast, who I will leave linked down below, is hosting a readathon surrounding the Harry Potter owls exams, and I love it. So I have the little printed out letter that lists all of the exams and it's literally like a letter to go take the exams, but it gives the different subjects and each of the subjects pertains to like a type of book. So you can choose to take all 12 of the, the exams and read all 12 of the prompts or to get a passing grade, you have to read five. So there are a whole bunch of rules. I will leave the announcement video down below so you guys can get all the information. So I'm keeping this fairly easy for myself. And right now I only have five books actually planned to read for five different things. If more books that I actually get to end up falling into this, I will include them as well. The first exam that I plan on taking is Ancient Runes, and that is to read a book with a symbol on the cover. And for that, I plan on reading The Wicker King by Kay Ancrum. Sally, if you're watching this, I still want to buddy read it, so let me know. Let's get on that. But there's a lot of symbols going on on this book, and this just sounds awesome. I know I've talked about this a lot in my recent videos, so I'm not gonna go into it more, but if you're curious about this, look it up, it's, it's amazing. I'm real excited. And it seems like it'll be a really quick read because there's a lot of like uh, blank pages and art and mixed media in this, so I think it'll be a very fast read for a readathon. The next owl that I will be partaking in is Arithmacy, read a book with a number on the cover or in the title. And for that, I'm going to go with The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. I have included this in how many TBR videos? A lot is the answer, but I'm gonna get to it one day, probably because I have the audiobook of this now, so I can actually like fly through this in one sitting. But I'm very excited to get to this. This is adult content, people. This is not a YA book. This is about a girl who um, does not leave her apartment because she believes she has murderous tendencies, so she turns into a cam girl. So there's going to be some explicit content. 
and I am so excited for that. Next owl that I will be attempting is astronomy. Read a science fiction novel. For that, I'm gonna try. Mom, I'm gonna try. If you're watching this, I'm gonna read Ancillary Justice. <laughs> So this is by Ann Leckie. This is a book that my mom, also multiple friends, have forcibly recommended to me. And it's to the point where my mom just left her book at my house for me to read it. I'm gonna read it. I will get to it. I will attempt because I need to for a readathon. But all I know about this is that it's freaking amazing according to everybody who has read it. Um, but I think it follows AI and it's just done really well, like how the artificial intelligence is perceived is apparently really good. I'm gonna kinda go into this blind because based on everybody's recommendations, I just want to experience the story. The next test that is an option is Care of Magical Creatures. Read a book that includes magical creatures or features one on the cover. For this, could I could probably choose any book that I'm planning on reading and use it for that, so I left that one blank gonna be open to what I feel like reading then. Next exam is Charms. Read a fantasy book and for that I would like to read Everless finally by Sarah Holland. This is a book a lot of people were reading because it just came out in January I believe and it seems like a fairly fast read. It's not super long and again I have the audiobook of this so I can fly through it. I'm very excited about this. This I believe follows a kingdom where the rich people or the royalty control time. Like, they can take time away from you as punishment. That sounds awesome. And I've heard somewhat mixed things, but mostly positive reviews about this. And then I'm going to skip a whole bunch of those. I'm going to combine Divination with Transfiguration for Ink Mistress by Audrey Colthurst. Um, this follows Divination, which is read a book featuring prophecies, or Transfiguration, read a book that deals with transfiguration, shape-shifting, or a similar theme or a book with a cat on a cover, which I love. So for both of those, this kind of applies. This is following a bisexual demigod, I'm pretty sure, um, but she has the ability to see the future by writing with her blood. So that's always fun, blood prophecies. That's always great, so that applies for the prophecy thing. But I do believe there is shape-shifting in this as well, I think, pretty sure. I mean, demigod, it's entirely possible. But I read A Fire and Stars last month and I adored it, so I really plan on reading this. Again, Amy, if you're watching this, I want to read this with you still. So if you're still game, I'm up for a buddy read with that. So there are definitely more exams that are available. Um, there are 12 in total if you guys would like to see that. Again, check out the video linked down below because that's where you can find all of them. There are 12 different options you can take for this readathon, and those are the like five that I'm gonna stick with for now. And that also leaves my month somewhat open for more books to consume. Pretty much the end of April is going to switch into Akamath mode. Like I know that's gonna happen, so I'm not trying to like overload myself with too many books. So I'm gonna get through the review books that I need to get through, attempt a little bit of a readathon, and then just dive into the world of Prithian and I'm so excited for it. Like, if you guys are excited for Akafast, let me know, because that's all I've been thinking about, and we're like less than a month away. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go. If you guys are also doing this readathon, let me know down in the comments, or whatever you guys are planning on reading in this following month, let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video.